Nikki Aitken. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Whilst I welcome that a number of responsible property owners have taken the necessary steps supported by government funding to remove dangerous cladding from their buildings, leaseholders and residents of Paddington Walk in my constituency are still under pressure from their building's owner, European Land, to pay for the works required to remove a ACM cladding. As those residents said to me in an email sent this morning, manufacturers are responsible for defective kettles or cars. Why is it different for the most expensive purchase anyone will ever make in their lives? Does my right honourable friend agree with me that given the billions of pounds being available by the government, it is now inexcusable that there are still many building owners who have failed to remove dangerous cladding and are still trying to pass the cost, indeed trying to pass the buck, to leaseholders who have suffered enough in this living nightmare. Mr Speaker, I quite agree with my honourable friend. The buck ought to lie with the owners, uh, their developers or the warranty holder. She will know that we've spent a great deal of public money to remediate those buildings that are most in need of it, as I've described. But the responsibility of the developers, and there are some very good developers out there, um, must be fully understood by us in this House, by them as an industry, to remediate buildings that need it and to restore the reputation of their sector. Deputy 